So, hi, my, my name is Maxima Gels. I'm a research fellow in global health at the Lincoln International Institute for Rural Health. My research areas lie in health access, sexual and reproductive health, and infectious diseases. I'm particularly passionate about investing, innovating health intervention and using cutting edge analysis methods to inform policy and generate a positive impact on population health. My journey into this field started when I was a teenager. Um, I've always been fascinated by community, uh, public health and science, and, and I've always been involved with NGOs and community organizations in France and abroad for as long as um, I can remember. Uh, but when I began my uh, degree in physics and chemistry in France, I was not really sure uh, what I wanted to do with my career. Um, and it wasn't uh, until I volunteered as a coordinator for a local NGO, uh, offering HIV testing and other sexual health services through a mobile clinic in area uh, which were poorly uh, reached by traditional health services uh, that I realized that I wanted to work in public health. And this experience uh, was a real uh, game changer for me, uh, seeing the impact of public health intervention on these communities inspired me to pursue a master's degree in public health and a doctorate in uh, health demography. I worked in uh, Côte d'Ivoire in West Africa uh, focusing on access to sexual health services, which became uh, then one of my main uh, areas of expertise. And today, as a research fellow at the Lincoln International Institute for Rural Health, I'm dedicated to improve access to health and care uh, outcomes for underserved population in both the UK and the global south. And it is my firm belief that everyone, regardless of their background, deserve access to uh, quality uh, healthcare. And my research interest primarily focuses on uh, assessing the real world impact of health intervention on the general population. Um, I'm fortunate to be involved in a variety of research projects, both in the UK and in Sub Saharan Africa. Uh, for example, in Guinea, in partnership with the uh, NGO SOLTIS, we are conducting a research project to investigate the acceptability and cost effectiveness of using drones to transport blood samples in areas with poor road structure and heavy traffic congestion. And our preliminary results have shown that drone transportation is an acceptable solution for local population and healthcare workers and could potentially save life in a cost-effective way. And we are very excited about the potential of this project to uh, re re revolutionize urgent care for remote population in many settings. And we are currently in talks with the Guinea uh, government to explore the feasibility of implementing a drone transport strategy in real condition. Another example, one of our recent studies in the UK focuses on uh, people living in caravans in Greater uh, Lincolnshire. Uh, what our results reveal is that this population face many challenges related to aging and tend to concentrate in areas with high level of health and economic deprivation and low access to care services. And yet, this population do live in very delimited area, which means that targeted intervention could be feasible and would make a significant impact in improving their health outcome. Our team has also been awarded a large NIH uh, grant for an important research project in South Africa. Oh, our objective is to design HIV prevention strategy for poor rural communities in Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, that will maximize HIV incidence reduction by targeting the most vulnerable uh, subgroups. And using novel epidemiological and statistical methods, we aim to rapidly uh, identify emerging vulnerable groups with the highest HIV incidence, utilizing, uh, utilizing an existing population-based HIV surveillance program in rural KwaZulu-Natal.
In addition to my research activity, I also conduct a consult for various international NGOs to help improve the impact of their intervention in the field. I'm really passionate about using scientific knowledge and reasoning to inform policy and generate impact on population health. And I'm completely committed to making a positive uh, difference in the world. I hope you found that uh, video informing and inspiring. And if you are interested in learning more about my research or exploring potential collaboration, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always eager to connect with fellow researchers and organizations who share my passion for improving global health outcomes. And thank you for your time and attention. And I really look forward to hearing from you very soon.